I want a Kiwi Kelly 250 today. Been on this motorcycle from past two hours, and so that was a pretty plain highway, where and I couldn't find that much of traffic. I had a thought that I would rip this vehicle within the city limits and see how it performs. So talking about this motorcycle, this motorcycle has been one of the best cruiser I've ridden so far. And the ergo point of this motorcycle is very good that you can have hours of riding together without having a break in between. And what hurts this front is the front suspension. Though Kiwi has come up with a USD fork, I don't find that this fork is pretty much capable of absorbing the shocks from the bad roads. And you have a pretty bad switch ergonomics here. You have the switches scrambled across. You have the turn signal indicators on both of your uh, switch controls. And you have a very light throttle in this vehicle which is like you know, it's pretty easy to throttle. Don't feel the tightness in the throttle here. So that's one added benefit. So, maneuvering the 16 inch wheels on both the front and back have. They're pretty good, and this is the bad one. Yes, and talking about the wheels. 16 inch rear tyres are way better and the road grip is very promising that you can easily manure the busy traffic roads. And let's not forget about the engine. This engine is a pretty decent engine. You get a decent set of torque. So that keeps you away from frequent gear shifts. It has got a de pretty decent power also. The power output too is very good. So if you are on a longer ride, please make sure that you don't throttle it beyond 5000. And I am way too specific about it because that is where you have uh, the vibration kicking in. You will start feeling the vibration on your fingers, also on your feet. The belt drive on this motorcycle is very crazy. Let's push through and see what this motorcycle can do. The engine grunt is what you can enjoy on the road. Grunt never bores you. It keeps you alive throughout your trip. The ride comfort of this motorcycle is very good. You have a pretty good space for your feet. The brake pedal and the gear lever which is very good. On the whole, I would say, uh, if you're paying close to two, two and a half to three lakhs, this is a very good motorcycle and it's worth every penny you spent on this motorcycle. And yes, the beaten's are very promising on this engine. Let me have a short stop here. Sorry, I was a bit confused and I missed the road. If you're on a longer drive, 
this is one of the best water cycle you can give it out have a good spin and then come back and the turn signal indicators are not that impressive and you have a short hop here and that's stalling me a lot What's good about this motorcycle is when if you are in a very dense traffic, the maneuverability of this motorcycle is damn good that you can easily push your bike through all nooks and corners of the road. And this bike has 